good afternoon science may set limits to knowledge but should not set limits to imagination i welcome one and all for 41st episode of creative uh, creativity and activeness together creative knowledge square is our tagline uh, sharing of knowledge will increases our knowledge uh, doubles our knowledge uh, creative is a group of people who are very eager to gain the knowledge and our vision to build constructive thinking and progress in various field our focus is on non textual non syllabus non academic concepts creative providing platform to the resource person to share their knowledge discoveries evaluation and all we are thankful to all our resource persons for engaging us with their knowledge every saturday afternoon we are uh, conducting uh, online talks uh, between 3 to 4 on online platform uh, zoom platform and we also live streaming our program in our youtube channel today's topic is future fruit crops and its health benefits to present this we have eminent speaker dr r santil kumar uh, principal scientist scientist icar iih ihr bangalore i welcome you sir and i welcome creative volunteers and creative participants for today's session over to you sir okay uh, thank you supriya uh, good evening one and all i am dr r santil kumar as introduced by supriya ma'am uh, working as a principal scientist in the division of social science of indian institute of horticulture research hope you may be aware that this is this institute is located in the outskirt of bangalore uh, before introducing uh, my institute i am getting introduced myself uh, i am dr santil kumar i started my uh, career actually for this uh, we have to do bs agriculture ms agri phd horticulture my, all my education i done at um, annamalai university tamil nadu then enter into the agriculture research service in the year 2000 my first place of hosting was in srinagar so one year i was there from there i shifted to andaman nicobar islands so three years i worked there then shifted to jisal uh, national bureau of plant genetic research setup uh, that regional station was there at thrissur uh, there also i served some two years then after becoming a senior scientist i moved from national bureau of plant genetic research into indian institute of species research uh, its headquarters is at calicut but its substation is there for doing research on cardamom that is in kurg apangala there i served almost 6 years uh, then from there i shifted as a principal scientist to the indian institute of uh, horticulture research its substation central horticultural experimental station located again at kurg almost one decade i was there uh, kurg there we had uh, did research on the fruit crops so this topic is almost related to uh, that only that's why even though they asked me to give a talk on mango but i told i preferred this topic this my cup of tea okay this i am expertise in this only so that's why i chose on this topic uh, because almost 10 years we were working on this um, feature fruit crops so not present i uh, last four years i working in this uh, main campus here also we are doing uh, transfer of technology that's why this division is uh, social sciences and training so last four years we are doing this kind of capacity building or creating awareness so i thought this training also very good opportunity for the listeners to learn the uh, benefits of the future fruit crops what is future fruit crops what are its health benefits so this uh, this is about my background for that only we are here now i'll go for my presentation shall i share my screen ma'am yes sir yes sir it it's visible sir yeah uh, this is the topic given to me today we will talk on uh, this topic for another 60 minutes this is the view of our institute now i am just introducing briefly about our institute because i don't know how many of you know about this institute Uh, Indian Institute of Horticulture Research. Uh, this is the station. This is the institute started for doing research in horticulture crops. 
Articles are comprises of fruits, vegetables, flowers, ornamental crops, and even medicinal plants also. So almost 54 crops we are doing research. This institute started in 1967. This is directly coming under Ministry of Agriculture under the umbrella of Indian Council of Agriculture Research. That Indian Council of Agriculture Research is located in New Delhi. So there are 100 organizations like IIH or Indian Institute of Horticulture Research, more, almost 100 research institutes are there throughout the country. It is directly controlled by the uh, Central Agriculture Minister. It will be So to enter into the service, agriculture research service, minimum qualification is PhD in horticulture. So through ARS, Agriculture Scientist Recruitment Board, we are entering as a scientist. So that's why I, I introduced myself. I told we served more than 17 years outside the state. Now only we recently came to this main institute. To reach the main institute itself, for us, it took almost 17 years. So, so this is the uh, 1967 that institute started for doing horticulture research for uh, that not only in South India, it is for the entire country. This institute is for doing the research and giving technologies to the entire country. So next, this important thing is uh, whatever we are releasing, whatever the technology we are developing from this institute, uh, we have our own trade name or a trademark that is called Arka. Why we are calling us Arka means because uh, river name, Arkavadi is the river name, like in Etravadi, Arkavadi also river here. So that we have taken that Arka as our trade name. It is registered, uh, registered with the other Chennai trademark industry uh, journal also since 2011 onwards. Why we have registered, what for this is required is, this is our contribution. Because in 1967, we started this institute. Uh, here we are more than 150 scientists working. So 150 scientists working last 50 years with the 700 acres farm. So what are our contribution mean? This is our contribution. The IHR technologies alone, not we have so far developed almost 300 technologies our top five technologies alone contributing 30,000 crores to the gdp that is our strength because in the name of only technology if i tell it is 300 technology but nobody know the value of what is the potential of each technology for example uh, how we are calculating means this is the way we are calculating i am coming to our main topic but this is a brief about uh, our institute for just what we are doing uh, in that angle. Because how we are calculating uh, this many crores means, this was suppose we are releasing a variety. For example, this variety in Goa, Arka Kran, this variety released almost 10 years back. So, so far this variety occupied almost 900 acres. Our target, we supposed to get the yield from one acre from this variety is three lakhs. Yeah. Sir, yeah, uh, yeah. slides are uh, not changing, I think. It's not moving, ma'am? No, sir. No, no. Stop sharing and I will come in. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is Goa is visible, ma'am? Ah, uh, sir. Okay. So this is how we are calculating how our technologies are contributing to the how farmers are getting benefit at the same time how it is contributing for the GDP also. Similarly, other technologies also how it is contributing like that we we made some this one uh, this are the for example some technologies we have in the fruits uh, ready to serve uh, beverages or fruit bar technologies because sometimes farmers are they are used to tell we are not getting the uh, price uh, a good price in the market so this is a, it's a glut in the market so this kind of things the situations we can go for uh, value addition by using these kind of technologies. It's a glimpse of some, some technologies, what IHR is having. Uh, then we have the technology for dry flower also. These are some the waste, but we can make use of some technologies. It's a simple technology we can convert into the uh, very good uh, um, marketable items. Similarly, the recent uh, 
corona we can we have the habit of washing the fruits and vegetables even simply washing the fruits and vegetables uh, we can't be able to remove all the pesticide residues so we have the technology called arca herbi wash where it can remove the pesticide residue 80 to 100 percent uh, by adding just two gram of arca herbi wash uh, powder we cleaning the vegetables then we have some technologies on uh, fruit vegetable vending vans also how fresh because the fruits and vegetables are supposed to be taken the fresh because the otherwise it will lose its nutrients in the transit also otherwise lot of wastage will be there for that also we have the vegetable vending van these are the kind of technologies some value addition to the, this one so now i am coming to the that main topic a uh, future fruit crops and its health benefits why we are calling it a future fruit crops this is what we discuss now about our institute what i hr what kind of technology we developed how we are contributing the gdp so with this background i am now i am entering into our main topic future fruit crop and health benefits the name itself now the future fruit crop why we are calling it as a future fruit crop means all the fruit crops even though now if you see the Uh, Srinath sir already given me the topic. Sir, you can talk on mango because the mango is the season. Now, somehow I told sir rather than mango, I will concentrate on future fruit crop because if you see this mango, everybody knows. Sir. But these crops also nowadays available in the market. You might have seen these crops are available in the market. That's why we want to create awareness. Whom so is the client? Whether today some group is there now. You are maybe some people may be knowing these facts. but i will add some more facts to this so farmers point of view also it is important because they also should know already people aware about this kind of fruits because of its medicinal value because of its health benefits that's why this kind of fruits are available in the uh, malls or markets it is available but the thing is it is uh, the real health benefits the clients also not knowing or farmers also are not knowing that's why they are not uh, cultivating that's why we want to create awareness whatever the opportunity comes uh, we are taking this topic to disseminate this kind of technologies so some fruits are indigenous here this is the overall fruit crops in the individual fruits i'm going to cover it's just claims of this is the passion fruit this also one of the introduced fruit crop the first one left side it is the passion fruit actually this variety we released in 1980s more than almost 20 30 years back we released this variety why we released the variety what is the health benefit of this variety the fruit is having the passion fruit actually this fruit is for juice purpose wherever if you go this welcome drink this fruit is they used to give as a welcome drink this aroma is fantastic very rich source vitamins refreshing vitamin c is there so lot of minerals are there so that's why very refreshing that's why they used to serve this fruit as a this juice fruit juice as a welcome drink so we released this variety even though 30 years back now this variety is popular after so many years this variety is popular because now people realized importance of health awareness has come so we have to take what are the fruits which is more nutritious so in that category see you we released we forget about this variety not present more than 200 300 acres orchards people are growing this variety this variety uh, not only variety this fruit this also introduced the fruit this is one of the high value crop if you take the farmers uh, actually this crop why we introduce means as already uh, told uh, the regional and the central horticulture experimentation chetel is started the, that station itself started for doing research on mandarin kurg mandarin by british 1940s 1947 during that period itself but of course of late uh, there is no market for that for citrus group because farmers point of view they want to more yield or more benefit so nobody want to bother about that uh, uh, to grow or to cultivate so but the scientists what we thought okay we will introduce some other fruit crops which is having more uh, value also more health benefits In that angle we introduced this crop and we developed a variety that variety name also called kaveri in passion fruit but still because there is no price it, uh, nobody bothered about to grow this crop now because of this recent awareness 
so everybody want to help the uh, now everybody want to be healthy so because of that awareness even though they are finding back this variety now huge demand is there for planting materials of this variety even uh, so it's a fresh juice also they can make as such also this fruit that can be eaten because we want sugar we have to add sugar so that kind of uh, our aroma is there plus and aroma is there vitamin c or content also high so that is the fruit is one of the fruit is important uh, is get take get, 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 taking momentum um, uh, recently um, similarly the other fruit important fruit crop, i will cover i will try to cover all the fruit crops what is showing here the second one is rambutan the third one is uh, lychee then bottom that uh, right side one is durian fruit that center is the garcinia uh, mangosteen fruit that left side one is the malayan apple so individually i will try to cover then next important crop is that uh, avocado butter fruit this also we are calling it so one of the important future crops it is already uh, actually this crop introduced in 1960s 1965 only few trees introduced by british or some others they brought even our botanical garden lalbagh also some trees they introduced by british but for commercial cultivation point of view they introduced in tamil nadu only 1965 uh, in serrai hills and other kodaikanal area but today more than 12 or 15 million trees they are growing why they are growing what is the health benefits is it? actually this crop alone i will take some more time to uh, so give you a glimpses of health benefits as such this fruit maybe somebody might have tasted this fruit this fruit have no taste at all there is no sweetness there is tasteless fruit only actually that's why while introducing this fruit this fruit they used to call as a dog fruit because nobody will eat because there is no taste but because it's contains a fat so dogs eat this fruit that's why in kerala this is used to call it is a dog fruit then because of its health benefits the people aware about the health benefits of this fruit they started purchasing this fruit whatever may be their it once the person they know how to prepare how to use this fruit if they know how the what are the health benefits are there in such this fruit they are ready to buy even today also individual fruits some there are in delhi or calcutta market 400 rupees for individual fruits are they are ready to pay so that much uh, health healthy uh, material fruit one such fruit that's why this fruit is called as a super fruit why we are calling it as a super that reason and i am telling afterwards the reason uh, then because of this high value because of the high demand in the market now that it become the dawn of the fruit in tamil nadu now because of now the topic now i am coming to the real topic here health benefits particularly this health benefits because of its health benefits this fruit that now the status is given to this fruit is as a divine fruit so dark fruit to dawn of the fruit because of its economics now because of its health benefits it become the divine fruit now that latest name given for this avocado is a divine fruit sir now we can ask the now that now i am uh, briefing the health benefits why it is so important sir avocado the other way is its name is called as a butter fruit so butter is not good for health why so much of crazy for this butter fruit even though it the name is called butter but it's a vegetable vegetable source of butter the this butter this whatever it is going it, it is acting as a scavenging scavengers in our body system so that's why uh, this is important for the uh, it's a health benefit point of view so here what it is doing means everybody knows so we have to take a lot of fruits and vegetables this everybody knows so if the next question if you ask what for we have to take lot of fruits and vegetables if the, the answer will be one scientific term they will tell if you take lot of fruits and vegetables it will it is containing lot of antioxidants so this antioxidant play important role to enrich our immunity also so beyond this question nobody will ask what is our antioxidant what is antioxidant role how it benefit give the health benefits so that that is that is where this avocado fruit is coming because the antioxidants 
it is available in the, all the fruits and vegetables. The antioxidants containing all the fruits and vegetables because the fruits and vegetables contain a lot of fibers. Moreover, fruits contain a lot of colors. So this coloring agent or fibers being the butter fruit, this have the more rich source of antioxidant. What this antioxidant will do in our body system whenever we are taking the food. The purpose of taking the food is to give energy to us. So rather than this, instead of giving energy, if it is not properly digested, it will behave like a um, unwanted material that is called, in scientific name, they used to call it say, radicals. The unwanted, undigestible materials is called radicals. They exclusively called as a free radicals. So the free radicals, there is a medical review says, Wherever the free radicals accumulation is there, there only you are getting more diseases. If the free radicals accumulates in brain, I said brain related disease. If free radicals accumulate, maybe the heart or any part, because that is the reason for creating some diseases. So this free radical has to be removed from our body system. So only the source to remove these free radicals are the antioxidants. Antioxidants play important role to remove these free radicals. So that's why in general we used to suggest, you used to tell, you have to take a lot of fruits and vegetables. To so that's why this would, they used to tell, this will do the scavenging, scavenging in our system, body. So among the fruits and vegetables, the butter fruit will do this scavenging activity better than all the others because being the fat, it has the more tendency and it has the more ability to attract the free radicals. So that is the that is the one of the reason they are calling as a super food, super fruit. That is a, one of the reason. Then one more reason calling is a, given the name given to butterfruit or super fruit is our body system is a acidity, acidic in nature. That's why they used to suggest. We have to take sometimes that Corona period now they used to tell to get the immunity. We have to take a lot of lime juices because the lime juice this is alkaline in nature. So in the system itself acidic in nature. So we have we are pouring alkaline in nature. Then it is the system will get the digestion so that will improve your immunity. That is the uh, reason they used to suggest we have to take a lot of uh, lime juice. So the lime itself, if you see the scientifically the lime. The pH of the lime is alkaline is above 7, 7 to 8. That is the pH range. That's why it is called alkaline. Um, that to sometimes they used to refer you better you take a green color lime. So that green lime, that again that pH is more than uh, 7 or 8 up to 9. But in the case of uh, avocado, the pH is more than 12. So extremely alkaline nature. So because of this extreme alkaline nature, because of it has the tendency to absorb the free radicals, uh, these the two reasons only we are calling this as a super fruit. Then these are the, this is the scientific, uh, scientific reason uh, for calling this fruit as a uh, super fruit. Then this is the only, the advantage of this is, this fruit can be a baby food also sometimes. This fruit invariably, any age group, there are some fruits which they can make. So diabetic person, they can't eat. The babies, they can't eat. Or aged person, they can't eat like that. So many restrictions are there, some fruits. But this fruit is uh, there nothing. There is no, if you want to taste only, we have to add milk or we have, if you want uh, sweetness, we have to add sugar. Otherwise, as is the fruit is not at all sweet, it's alkaline in nature. It, it will just melt, it will melt like ice cream. You can make any form. We can make it a medieval form. We, in it's a different age groups, we can take this fruit. Moreover, being the fat in this, it is high value, high energy food. So because of that one reason, being the high energy food, the technology is developed for, to convert this pulp into uh, as a powder form also. So this pulp can be converted into powder like milk powder. So that 
powder already is that Mysore Defense Research Laboratory. They have uh, come up their technology to convert such fruit pulp into the powder. These powders they are uh, sending to the high range where our military, Leh, Ladakh, our military army persons are there. They can't take carry very uh, voluminous food and all. So for them, they need high energy food. So such kind of situation, the DRD was himself developing such kind of high value fruits. They are sending the uh, military person. So of course, nowadays it is popular in the other other region, other category of people also. So that is the one of the reason the craziness because of the awareness, because of this uh, benefits away in this fruit. Now it is become popular because the background of this fruit is actually it is originated from South America. It is not our crop. So the South America. Even that uh, origin native there itself, they can grow only one season because this region six months snowfall will be there, six months sunlight will be there. Because that's why they may be growing only one season. Because now in our climatic condition, there is called a canopy management. If you can do the canopy management properly, because we are getting 24 into 7 sunlight, we can grow this crop in the two season also. That is the advantage. Then second advantage, we are having the 1 billion population. So marketing is also not a problem. Ultimately, there we are getting the lot of health benefits, lot of health benefits. This is the scientific reasons uh, for consuming the fruit. Apart from this consuming, but actually this uh, now the apart from consumption, it is going that uh, now this fruit is being high, mostly placed for cosmetic purpose rather than health benefits also because this is good for skin so because it is good for skin so almost all the cosmetic you know, the facials creams shampoo so many products they are developing by using this pulp and powder that's why the pulp powder also demand is huge for this pulp but because the industry requirement also huge so these are the health this is it's for if you consume also a lot of health benefits are there if you apply that facials also, it is good for skin. That's why this importance of uh, this crop is increasing. In For this, the, we have done some research for last 20 years. At Chatelli only, we have done the collected different sources and evaluated whether it is suitable for our climate. This is called variability, different size and shape. Some the color development also, some different color, pink color will be there. Then skill will be, that's, there are different names are there has type or tropical type or gouty mala type these are some race uh, so whatever it may be the ultimately we require pulp only this pulp is having this such, such kind of health benefits that's why a lot of demand is there not only demand some companies some it companies to keep their employees health benefits they every week the, during the season they used to serve the avocado milkshake that's what we heard some it persons they used to visit our institute they used to tell our office also this is the trend they are making so the health benefits point of view this awareness is that we are creating awareness not only because of health benefits even farmers also getting very good prices for the in the market even the farm get price itself they can be able to sell 100 rupees yeah. per kg so that way a farmer can easily get almost four to five lakhs per acre so that way a farmers also getting benefit now it is not only farmers being uh, a divine fruit or that is the name we have given so invariably all age group or any person any even diabetic person also they can eat such kind of fruit as such the fruit having there is no sweetness that's why this divine creations may be that's why it is called a divine fruit if you see the historical perspective those days during when dinosaur period those eras uh, jurassic uh, that era that period if we, that the dinosaur used to eat this kind of fruits. That's what the study says. Because these animals, big animals like dinosaur, they need high energy fruit. So those days, they used to eat this kind of fruits. Like that also some studies are there. So we need high energy fruit means this, this is a fruit. Moreover, this is alkaline in nature. That's why it is becoming very popular. So invariably, people are wherever these fruits are available they have the habit consumption of avocado in south america in north america even in england and the other places it is increasing now gradually it is increasing in our country also this is one important crop for our topic today
So we have just a glimpses of this one. We are developing one variety also. Uh, that variety name is Sarka Supreme. Uh, it is this variety is suitable for growing in our climatic condition, I maybe mean, tropical condition, because uh, temperate condition, this origin is from temperate South America region. Now we are able to grow here. These are our collections. From this only we released a variety, it's called Arca Supreme. This is suitable to grow. It's a weight average fruit weight will be 250 gram. We can store up to one week also. We can without any loss. This is the, the technology in this. We can convert this because as it's a fruit, we can uh, transit different places. So we have developed some technology. That pulp itself, we can we can uh, the pulp itself. Uh, we can convert as a butter spread like butter we can sp uh, take this pulp uh, we can store it for three to six months so that in the brands the sandwiches and all we can uh, uh, we can make use of that pulp even ice creams milkshakes they are using by using the pulp we have standards the technology how to uh, store it they can add uh, even chocolate flavors also to increase the uh, its uh, fragrance all these things the, this is the, the another technology from avocado because of it the powder is having the lot of demand because as such fruit we can't store long period moreover distance we have to it is not possible to distance a different distant market so we have the technology to convert this avocado pulp into the powder see this powder is almost costing almost seven thousand rupees per kg so that much demand is there uh, that's why uh, even the people, those who are not growing avocado, some Gujarat and all, they are importing fruit and making powder and again selling it because that much demand is there. So the people, so their awareness and the demand is increasing for this kind of fruits. Um, so that, that may be the useful for you today's also. So coming to the next, this is maybe, may not be a future fruit crops, but it is a Goa is already existing crop. But why I am putting this in the future crops and now this uh, consumption of Goa not like as a fruit, particularly this variety, this variety why it is pink in color is this variety name is called Arka Kran. It is pink in nature. Why it is pink in color nature? Because it is containing lycopene content. Lycopene is a medicinal value that have a lot of health, lot of health particularly if a person is to take uh, lycopene, just like a, a carrot is containing a lot of lycopene. So the lycopene content is important for eye vision or these things. So that's why this lycopene, because of its lycopene content, the fruits also are pink in color. So the because it's a pink in color, the high lycopene, it is that it will increase that immunity. This is for health benefit. Moreover, nowadays this three, these fruits they are using for even diabetic persons also. This fruit now, our guava fruits are recommended for diabetic person also. This is getting a lot of fiber. That, that, but that seed is uh, uh, soft seeded. That's why this fruit, particularly even though guava so many years we are cultivating, but particularly this variety because of its medicinal value, because of its health benefits. Now I put this crop uh, in, uh, for our topic today. One of the future programs is the, the upcoming Goa Orchard. So the upcoming Goa Orchards are the upcoming uh, Goa Orchards are there planting these kind of new varieties. All these new varieties contain the medicinal value. Medicinal value. Moreover, this variety is suitable for ultra high density. So two meter and one meter also. Two meter and one per acre, 2000 plus they are ready to grow. So per target per, per each crop is almost 20 kg. 10 kg per season. So two season they can go for hours. 20 kg is even because of these fruits are not available because there were leaves even Kerala, that Polachi area, People used to take the leaf of this pink variety, Goa. They are drying, then that, that decoction also they are taking. That is the information we collected from the farmers. So this healthy benefit is not only because of this fruit, even though they try to exploit because of the pink color leaf, this and the lycopene content is there in the leaf also. So they have given such important, important they are taking care even to exploit this medicinal value from the leaves also by using this, uh, these varieties of uh, Goa. Similarly, we have the another pink varieties also in this crop, Alka Reshmi also one of the another uh, pink variety of Goa. This also contains the same uh, lycopene content and ascorbic acid content. 
in that white color variety also we have but that is not that much medicinal but it is good for uh, that the seeds are very soft so good for digestion the, again the another one of the fruit jackfruit we all might have seen but this jack what is the difference is uh, jackfruit usually it is yellow in color here it is a, a pink in color actually it is not our variety this variety name is siddu jack this is identified from a farmer's field in a farmer's field we identified this variety then we released we we help a farmer to release variety why it is pink in color same reason what i told for uh, goa is the same reason there is a lycopene content because of the lycopene content instead of lowly it become uh, that pink so that means this is also having the uh, lot of medicinal value uh, the lycopene content so for improving the vision at uh, that improving the immunity level so that's why lot of demand is there for this then we did this we have some technologies also even these fruits can be converted into the ready to drink juices also then one more thing important health benefit sir like this seeds used to throw but these fruits also containing lot of fiber that that can be mixed with the mixed mixed and we can convert into the chocolates so these are the uh, technologies also available for uh, because of its health benefit now people are searching what is the important things from whether ready to drink juice or fruits which is having the medicinal value means it is having the market now the trend is like that people are searching not just like that fruit they are not searching they are searching what is the medicinal value in this then if you add a little bit or fortified with some medicinal value medicinal value means that fiber content or any uh, lycopene content or that uh, antioxidant absorbing capacity content so we can give any form in the form of juice also that's why i told about the passion fruit now this even jack fruit also such kind of varieties getting popular then this is also one of the important fruit crop as as a health benefit point of view of course uh, after late now people started taking iron tablet because iron is so important to keep our health uh, for our healthy kind of body but uh, the health uh, until otherwise if iron content is not the other uh, absorption of the other uh, nutrients of this body is getting uh, reduced that's why our iron is playing important role so but the naturally some fruit is available this fruit is called karanda this is natural source of iron content if we take this fruit because it's a rich source of iron even the olden days it is called as underutilized fruits now this fruit is becoming very popular because of this only reason is because it is rich in iron because it is rich in iron so the popular farmers also started growing this crop uh, now even again center put cftr in mysore they try to do uh, making juice out of uh, such uh, this crop because it is very difficult for this crop to sell in the market because if you pluck that latex will come so the latest trend for growing because of this awareness the resorts and the, the cities uh, that uh, those who are developing orchard nearer to the cities are bangalore so the area the orchard is developing in the tumkur that area they are growing such kind of fruit crops in their orchards or their in their fence actually it is a very good crop as a fence also if this crop is there in the fence even elephant can't enter so one of the a biological source of our fencing also apart from this this is having the medicinal value this medicinal value is iron content iron content is its medicinal value so we people can pluck and eat but nobody can eat more than 10 fruit at a time so that is because uh, that much is only the our capacity so because nature has its own way of uh, giving importance Uh, so this is tss content also uh, 11.5 this yield uh, can get up to 3000 fruits per plant if it is uh, taken care properly so this is the one crop then the other crop is that uh, malayan apple uh, it is the fruit uh, uh, it contain all the minerals nutrition potassium everything will be there except tss the sweetness sugar nowadays people started asking uh, sugarless tea sugarless uh, coffee so same way this is one of the sugar uh, content is less but it's all the fruit characteristics 
virtues of minerals and nutrition so that water content everything will be there but the tss is very very low this also almost they used to sell for 100 rupees per kg it is also becoming what this name is called uh, the fruit name is called malayan apple it's actually introduced crop it will come during the summer it is very good for during the summer season now it is the season it is available in the market along with salt or something they are used to take that's what i say fruit it contain all the minerals nutrition potassium everything will be there except to sweetness that's why this fruit is also becoming very popular so this also coming we are putting in the category of future fruits category the another fruit crop now everywhere it is available uh, earlier only in the malls only used to sell now uh, even your roadside also you can see the dragon fruit as i see this fruit also we may not having much uh, sweetness taste so actually this fruit introduced as a substitute for a banana because uh, so many person they can't be able to take a banana so but the same that potassium should be there the substitute the banana means it's a nutrition wise the small small the seeds uh, so uh, so these properties are there in the dragon fruit that's why they brought this introduced they actually importing these fruits as and date these people are there importing from these fruits from the vietnam because that much demand is there we could not able to produce this fruit to cater our population uh, to our demand that's why they are importing by importing alone this vietnam country is earning more than 3000 crores by by cultivating dragon fruit so that much is the potential for even underutilized crop like this one because of its a mineral potassium content and nutrition content that seeds are having this fatty acids all these contents are there is very very this also there tss content is very less so that's why people are preferring this the thing is the real health benefit if you grow you will get the fresh fruit the fresh fruit that in the transit because they are sending from this vietnam the, the far away places in the transit itself is lose some of the nutrients that's why we are advocating our farmers there are demands are there such kind of fruits you can grow so so that we can get the market so that is the so awareness is for not only our for consumers that awareness is if you take instead of imported fruit if you take this locally grown fresh fruit you will get the health benefit will be more rather than this imported fruits even in whether it's case of apple also rather than imported apples we can take our own simla apple or kashmir apple that health benefit is more that is same thing is happening with this uh, fruit crops also the for that kind of awareness we are creating the farmers but also consumers also it is important because it is the substitute they introduced now it uh, gaining the momentum so a lot of scope is there for this crop also so already we started growing so similarly this uh, passion fruit again uh, this is our variety it is like wine only anywhere they can grow these kind of uh, fruit crops uh, it is a wine in the kitchen uh, home, homestead garden also it is possible to grow uh, then the another important crop is the, the lychee uh, this uh, lychee is uh, introduced crop it is not our uh, crop uh, because it is very popular in the other places uh, you know this potassium content uh, everything is the more in this lychee only thing is because they are not using properly they are not harvesting that fungal contamination or bacterial contamination that only created a lot of problem until uh, otherwise if you handle properly this fruit uh, there is uh, there is, as, as such there is no harm in this but as such there is some restriction that we should not eat uh, certain beyond certain quantity particularly during night hours without taking food and all we should not take this kind of fruits otherwise is a one common minimum quantity we can take as, uh, as uh, is the advantage here is um, already this crop it's very popular in the throughout the it's an international crop it is introduced from china only that's why it's the name itself which in china and uh, we earlier it was used to grow only in the north india of of course nowadays we used to grow in south indian condition the advantage of we are growing here is we because our climatic condition we are getting this fruit crops this particular fruit lychee we are getting in the month of uh, november december january that is called off season so during that period nowhere in the world we can get the fruit that is the highlight 
of this crop growing in our climatic condition. So that, that way, whether consumer point of view, we are getting advantage, the farmers also is the uh, advantage is the bigger, they are getting the benefits. So these are the some states they used to grow. This way I told some different um, region, different places where they are growing this crop. Uh, so this also is a trop, popular crop. Then another important crop uh, having uh, some importance is uh, South in, in South India, having some the rich source of potassium. All these things are there in this Rambutan. This is called hairy lychee. This also, this is in Kerala, they used to grow. Uh, but this is a, like a chewing type. It will induce your, our enzymatic activities as such. There are now, when compared to lychee, this TSS is comparatively less only. But uh, it is also one of the introduced crop. It is not our native crop. Uh, it is also possible to grow uh, in Kerala or Karnataka, certain parts of food, that kind of regions. So, so these kind of uh, uh, crop already introduced the farmers. Even this also, people are ready to purchase. The acceptance is there because of its health benefits, because of its big taste and the flavor. The acceptance is there. Uh, you know, these kind of introduced crops, apart from introduced crop, one more crop we are having a lot of health benefits or medicinal values, the Garcinia. This is actually the indigenous crop. This all the, there are different species are there. Uh, that this one is the Garcinia gummigata, this is Garcinia indica, this is Garcinia mangustina, this is Garcinia zandacamis. Why you put all the different species here is this is an indigenous crop. It is not a so far, whatever we, we talked is whether it is uh, avocado or rambutan or lychee. Everything, all are introduced to crop, including dragon fruit. So we are got, we got a lot of awareness about uh, introduced crop and its health benefits. Because of the health benefits, introduced. But if you see here, this is peculiar. This is our own crop. This is having medicine only more than the all the crop what we are talking. And this is uh, this is the crop indigenous native to Western Ghats. Even the name itself it says it's a Garcinia. Here, yeah, this person from France, he is, is a, a French botanist, Laurent Garcin. He identified this fruit crop in Western Ghats for their commercial business. Like Vasco da Gama identified uh, as pepper for their business to start the East India Company. So 300 years we were under the rule because of that one crop. Similarly, during the same period, French people also came. They identified one such crop for doing their business. So that crop is called because of that, that the name itself, Garcinia, because of that Laran Garcin scientist name. He identified this species in India. That's why the scientific name is called Garcinia Indica. That also one of the feature we still, even though it is our own native crop, we, we are calling as a potential native feature fruit crop that is growing in the Western Ghats. So the same family, the same family, uh, the mangosteen so belongs to the same family, but the, the mangosteen fruit, that uh, sweetness is very, very, it's like a uh, white, uh, very one of the delicious fruits in the world. So such, there is no seed at all inside. Uh, you can swallow it. So much of the TSS will be there. Then it's a rich source of fiber also is there. Fiber, then this fruit, the Zanda Chimers, this is having the anti cancerous properties. It will look like a very good avenue tree, but inside that fruit will be there. If you go see inside only, you can be able to see this fruit. This is having a lot of anti cancerous property. Uh, this fruit, this is the one important crop, Garcinia indica. So, he, he, everything is uh, medicinal. It is having, everything is having the medicinal value that uh, pulp. They can, if you remove that skin, they, if you take this, they can take the juice out of that. That is the very rich source of antioxidant. After that, they can dry it, even the dried powder. It is containing citric acid. We all know citric acid they use for digestion purpose. This hydroxy citric acid is uh, using uh, utilized for digesting the fat. That's why this a uh, lot of uh, anti-obesity materials they used to uh, get it uh, anti-obesity, bio-slim. So many products are available in the market. 
if you can go to the any medical shop you can find one of the product for the slimming or bio anti obesity related things but the source is from our own country uh, from western guards from here only uh, source material is going again they are coming back and selling uh, this kind of um, uh, materials so these are the medicinal values it contains it is actually actually acidulent it is very good for digestive tracting it's fight against cancer improve the skin health it fights cholesterol this is one of the main uh, reason apart from this it have there so many other is a resource of antioxidant about antioxidants already I briefed then it is an appetite stimulant it's uh, should improve this for these are the so many medicinal value it is there in our own medicinal crop uh, medicinal indigenous crop this is a view so these are the products they are making out of this even they are making powder even the dried skin also they are using because everything is useful and the nothing is waste actually even that seed also they are making they are making a butter out of that actually we all know only cadbury is chocolate so the cadbury is uh, from the cocoa they are making this uh, chocolate uh, cadbury but uh, even from cocoa butter also we can uh, take um, even from cocoa butter also uh, they can uh, we can prepare the chocolates so mangler based chocolate industry uh, they used to um, use of make use of this uh, cocoa butter for their uh, chocolate preparations actually uh, whatever british introduced only we know uh, but whatever this french they tried still it is an underutilized only so that's why uh, still it is an, an underutilized only even though we have the lot of potential but international demand is there for this kind of because of its medicinal value <laughs> So ultimately, uh, with this, uh, with the topic says uh, health benefits of fruits and vegetables. Uh, we are talking about uh, fruits, uh, health benefits of future fruit crops. I talk of future fruits, uh, both uh, introduced also, we talked about future fruits of indigenous fruits also. I gave some idea, but the day will come. So we have, so far we, we have seen green revolution, brown revolution, white revolution. Now, already the topic also given here is uh, health benefits. That means we are uh, going towards uh, a revolution called appetite revolution. Appetite revolution. That's why the lot of demand is as you can talk about the health benefits. So I thought this slide may be useful because this, one, this is the word I would like to quote here. One billion population in the world is are chronically hungry, but the same one billion populations are overweight. So we need this appetite revolution and that is what the world needs. So the topic also apt to discuss the health benefits of uh, fruits. So I thought I'm going to share what are the knowledge I'm having this kind of future program, how it is going to contribute uh, for these things. Then um, if time permits, some more slides also I'll do. Otherwise, we'll stop here, ma'am. Uh. Uh, sir, just show uh, a little yeah, yeah. The another one, uh, just to brief, to brief, actually. Oh. Yes, sir. You can. It is moving, ma'am. Sir. Whether it is a Sita police visible with that? No, sir. What? Sir, just stop screening and again you screen it, sir. Now, Sita, it's coming, ma'am? Ah, yes, sir. Yeah. So this is one of the important crop. We often neglect sitapal. What is there? Actually, sitapal also introduced the crop. Uh, it is introduced by Portuguese during those same period. When British came, French people came, the same period, Portuguese also came. They introduced in the name of all uh, Rampal, uh, sitapal, all these things. But the thing here, the talk to, related to our topic, why I brought this uh, Sitapalis, it is having this anti-cancerous property, particularly that uh, 
Lakshman for Ram for this is that property is there. Source soap that is called there, it is more. But we released a variety in this Sita for in the name of Parka Sagan. This having a lot of pulp, less number of uh, seeds. The medicinal value in this, it is having the anti cancerous property. Mm -hmm. Of course, it is not in the initial stage because we used to give. Uh, not as such Sarka Sagan, that the source soap is containing a lot of that content, that anti-cancerous content is yeah. more in source soap, but this fruit also containing the same because they all belong to the same family. So that's why this fruit also is now getting importance because of its medicinal value. This fruit is for cultivation itself also easy. Even farmers also, they can grow in any uh, dry area, particularly Karnataka dry places like Vijaypura, they used to create, they are getting almost 4 lakhs per acre, 4 to 7 lakhs. So that because of its medicinal value, not only, otherwise also, it is very sweet in nature. One per, so that uh, that is the medicinal value here is the anti-cancerous property. Thank you. Okay, then. Thank you. Uh, so already we uh, talked about this Arka uh, Kram, this is because of its lycopene content, then passion fruit also, we discussed this is the things they are getting is a just I put it's a how farmers are getting benefit because of course in the now people are coming back to the natural fruit juice because of its vitamin C content. So that's why uh, these fruits are getting um, that's a popularity is increasing uh, for future crops or cultivation. Uh, so monetarily farmers are getting very good benefit from one acre they can be able to take 14 lakhs even from one tree. Slide is not visible sir. Okay, anyhow, I'll wind up, ma'am. This is my last slide. If any further clarification is there, I think the topic given and the time also almost to four o'clock. I covered the future fruit crops. The future fruit crops includes indigenous crop. Okay. Uh, if any questions, you can unmute and ask. Okay. Sir, uh, one question from uh, YouTube. Okay, one minute, sir. I'll... Sir, you are muted. Hello, uh, sir. Uh, yeah. uh, some people say we should have fruits that grown only in our locality, but not imported one. Are biologically mod modified fruits? It's is it true? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Man. That's why you were discussing with the uh, dragon fruit, I told it. even in case, even apple also, because in the name of long distance market to send from different place to here, it has to undergo so much of stress. So, because the transit, uh, they have to put a lot of preservative. So, a lot of other chemicals are there adding. The purpose of eating fruit is for its health benefit only. In the name of healthy benefits, we are forced to eat some unwanted things. So that's why, that's why in general, our recommendation is uh, you can eat the fruit in that particular season what is available. Yeah, that will be fresh also. That by, so this, this God has created such fruits in such a season is because it contain that kind of uh, medicinal value in this. That is the reality. So that's why we are also scientifically it is proven also. Scientifically also it is proven that particular season only we can take that seasonal fruit. That's why you should tell seasonal fruit is more advantage rather than throughout the, uh, throughout the year the same fruit. That means that we are taking a lot of preservative, a lot of added other unwanted chemicals also in the name of fruits. Here is there, sir. Uh, Giri there, sir. Okay. Hello, uh, I have a small question. Yeah, okay, sir, thank you for the talk. So thank I came you. to about uh, multiple uh, varieties, which I never thought that it is possible to grow in India. So my question is related, like uh, very much related to whatever you have already answered. So see, one of the value addition, what we can provide for this particular uh, varieties, whatever you have you yes. spoke just now. Okay. Is, uh, most of them are seasonal seasonal varieties okay so mm -hmm. is it is there a way to actually make it available throughout the year or during non seasonal when when there is lot of um, um, like a value or price yeah yes yeah, i'm just talking from the point of uh, money only 
Okay. Yeah, actually, before I start, I gave my talk, I shown my IHR technologies. In this, we in that we covered how to convert this fruit or fruit to be as a fruit juices, RTS, ready to drink juices, or making as a fruit bars, or making a powder. All kind of technologies are available with IHR, sir. Uh, sir, I'm Srinath here. It was yeah, a really yeah, yes. interesting and a uh, lot of new fruits this time I came to know. Whenever I interact with you, always a pleasure uh, knowing new fruits. Very happy, sir. Uh, I want to ask a question. Suppose somebody wants to buy these plants, okay. whether IHR will support. I know I used to visit the nurseries, but yeah. for the benefit of all listeners. Yeah, yeah. Are, we will plants? help you, sir. That's why I gave my number also, contact number. You can, they can contact, sir. We will help them to... Uh, make we will make it available, sir. It is available. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sina, sir. We only put a lot of pressure. I uh, forced you to change the my topic also. No, no, I'm very happy. <laughs> this is what I'm also looking for it. Of course, mango people will come to know about it, but still, many new fruits I you to I to learn. Okay, thank you, sir. Manyata, you can ask question. Ma, sir. Yeah, please, ma'am. Sir, it's a uh, uh, fifth standard student. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, ask Maneta. Yeah, please. Sir, we can grow crops in everywhere, sir. Ma yeah, it is possible. It okay, is possible, sir. Manita, it is possible to grow. And <laughs> the only thing is, any crop, it requires 60 nutrients. So what okay. are the food, food you are taking? Morning breakfast, lunch, dinner, all these things, you know, different time, different things. Same way you can provide sufficient nutrients for these crops also, it is also possible to grow. Because we are already having, our country is a tropical, so plant needs only sunlight. We have to modify accordingly, that is called a canopy management. These are not different things. Okay, at present, for your knowledge, it is possible to grow. Okay, okay. sir, thank you. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Thank you. Sir, uh, how does the TSS of the fruit vary, sir? And what is TSS, sir? TSS is total solubility. This is sweetness indicator. Sweetness. If anything is above, uh, like a blood test, we are going, temperature, fever, and all, everything, there is one system is there, no? So fever means, okay, beyond 96 or 98 or above 100. Like this, in the any fruits, we, we, if we take the juice, we put there is a the instruments are there. If it shows 10 and above, it will be sweet. That is called total soluble solids, sweetness. That is the indicator of sweetness, TSS. Above 10, it is sweet. Less than 10, it is not sweet. It may be towards sore. That's why that Malayan apple TSS is 6. But at the same time, uh, TSS of uh, that. Uh, Sitafal, I told you, no, it is like ice cream. The TSS is above 30. You can scoop and eat that much sweet. Okay. So what is the maximum TSS of the food, sir? Uh, that, that vary because if you, that climatic condition, because that convert, the whatever that storage, the pulp, the carbohydrates, you will be converted into sugar during the temperature, because of the temperature. So the conversion will be more during the summer. That's why date palm, those things, they are growing in the hot region. That is more sweet. The Kurg region, the oranges are not sweet because that there is the, the conversion is not taking place. So that is so the same mandarin, if it is grown in Nagpur, where temperature is high, that our Nagpur orange is sweet, so sweet. But Kurg orange is not at all sweet because that is the reason. Because that converts the temperature, it depends on the temperature. So during the temperature, that conversion, that carbohydrate salt will be converted to the sugar. Okay, that's that's why it is. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Myself, Sai Madhuri. Yeah, yes, it was sir. really an interesting session, sir. Thank you for the information. Thank you. Sir, my question is that okay. uh, we are converting uh, fruits uh, to other forms, right, sir? Like yeah. uh, juices and uh, like that. Yeah. Uh, will the medicinal values retain, sir? Medicinal value, they, yeah, that may not affect much. But which form we are going to retain, that will, because only thing is they are adding additionally preservatives. 
Okay, that's why we are asking uh, take the fresh fruits. Okay, that value will be there. For example, that like, because the pink color may not be changed. If you take this uh, lycopene, uh, uh, pink color goa means the juice also will be pink in color. That means that medicinal value of lycopene content is there after it becomes juice also. Only thing is, in addition to that, uh, in order to keep these fruit juices, they are adding a lot of preservatives. That only causing the problem. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. We are not losing that medicinal value. Medicinal value will be there. We, okay, in addition sir. to this, we are taking unwanted things. Sometimes these unwanted things alone become the what I told you know, the first stage, that avocado itself. It all become radicals afterwards because this preservative can be it's not easily digestible also sometimes. Sometimes you see the EP, apple they used to import, you know, this containing lot of wax coating. So those things it is not at all possible for getting digested. So these undigestible things will only become the free radicals in the body. As I told in the beginning itself, the free radicals is the source for the disease of any, any disease. Then it is difficult to do scavenging those kind of things. Okay. Sir, uh, uh, ripen fruit and raw fruit uh, makes difference in this uh, uh, iron content uh, like those things, sir. Not uh, iron content, only TSS content will be very much. Other content, that much. Okay. Yes, sir. Ripen means uh, that the conversion is not taking place. That's why it is unripen. Ripen means that this will be converting towards this carbohydrate, the storage, whatever the stored materials are there. It is this conversion is towards uh, sweet sugar, okay. sugar, glucose form, fructose form, like that it is become. So that's why it's a, that uh, physiology is a breakdown stage. It will take because after maturity only it will break down. Mm -hmm. Then only the sweetness will come. Mm -hmm. And that immaturity is growing stage. It is uh, it. Uh, it is not reached its peak. Okay. Sir, it really make a difference of uh, 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 fruits in a plant and uh, if we uh, pluck into uh, and we, uh, we usually make artificial uh, process, right? Any, it makes uh, some uh, like uh, uh, deficiency uh, in, in that processor. Yeah, during that's why I think same question they asked some of them whether during the process of processing or the term of processing where they're losing any ingredients, I mean uh, vitamins, like that, that is the question, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's what uh, we are not. Yeah, of course, uh, little bit reduction will be there. The way we are worrying this kind of adding preservative, this preservative is only creating the problem. Otherwise, as such, uh, uh, it may not lose much ingredients. I mean, vitamins are the other things in the store, stored form also. Okay, sir. But the fiber content, it is not possible. <clears throat> Only this vitamins, minerals we can in the form of juice. You can actually fiber also required for our body. That fiber content, it is, we are losing. If you take, convert in the form of juices. That's why we are advising, take the fresh fruits, as a cut fruits rather than the process. Of course, if it is not available in that particular season, we can go for processed one. Okay. But preference will be the first one. The second category, if it is not available in that particular season, we have to go for that because of its medicinal value or mineral composition rather than fiber content alone. Okay, sir. Okay. Any more questions? Uh, sir. My name is Raghavendra. Uh, sir, uh, first of all, thank you so much for the session. Uh, it's really very, very much uh, informative. Uh, secondly, I would like to ask a question. Uh, the types of fruit that you have already mentioned till now, okay. is there any specific soil or type that is required to grow these uh, fruits? I mean, the, the plants. Uh, I think that, okay, it is not very, so specific, sir, because I... Whatever may be the soil, it requires uh, there's a particular some nutrients. Okay. Uh, give that kind of nutrients because a fruit plant is not, we are not going to cover the entire soil. Only the particular pit, some 5 meter, 5 meter distance only are going to be. Okay, okay. That particular root zone, that rhizosphere, 
if you make possible to available of the the nutrients required for the plant to grow okay like my question was like some uh, like when you compare black soil with red uh the amount of yeah, propagation okay. black soil is uh, actually red soil is more preferable because it's a porous in nature gray soil lot of take and then that is the case that uh, root zone we are putting adding some more red soil with this black side so that are some um, organic manures to okay so that the water stagnation for any fruit crop water stagnation should not be there sir drainage should be there okay. drainage that is the basic why drainage should be there oxygen if the because the water stagnant means there is no oxygen there Understood. is no oxygen means plant will die at any point of time not okay. only plant for us also same thing <laughs> true true sir okay so uh, another question sir like uh, how, will the uh, the quantity that is being produced okay. will it be the same if we are using organic uh, manure or uh, at the same time of fertilizer i mean chemical fertilizer which is better okay good question sir and uh, this uh, now this even including is sri lankan crisis sri lankan also. problem is coming up so i wanted to know about that also <laughs> yeah the thing so is uh, that's right. uh, i have to answer the same thing the question so, raghavendra is asking he is a pilot okay is a working pilot in chennai just for <laughs> okay 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 sir okay nice sir so nice sir so the thing is sir uh, the and the answer to your question any plant required 60 newtons sir okay so now whatever we are talking whether organic or inorganic or major three nutrients npk so whether it is npk alone is not sufficient it is not sufficient all the six nutrients to be given but some nutrients we can give in the form of organic or in the form of inorganic you got the point sir out yeah, of nutrients few nutrients we can give any source whether it is organic but now this exploitation of inorganic fertilizer companies they are pushing lot of only npk the major nutrients they are giving in the form of inorganic that is the issue because lot of too much of inorganic fertilizer they are dumping that's why soil is getting deteriorated so but the to answer your question if we able to give the important nutrients required for the plant whether it is organic form it is fine organic form is required actually but all the nutrients it's for growing the plants organic form is fine but if you want quality some quality for even for us also we want to be healthy all the what we are going to get digested for our digestion for our health being also we need iron tablets we are taking iron because of importance of iron because naturality is not available organic form of iron is not available we are unable to take the iron tablets i mean iron current of plants fruits so that's why in the non availability of this we are going for iron tablets same thing for plants also if minor nutrients are there that minor nutrients not from soil that has to be applied through external the extra externally only those things these minor nutrients are not available in the organic form those things has to be given in organic form only exam zinc boron this kind of things it is not available there so it should be the mixture the purpose of organic inorganic is not the uh, spoil the soil so the basically it's like uh, basically it's like uh, giving the food and adding supplements in inorganic uh, yeah exactly yeah like uh, curd rice we are adding salt understood okay Okay, sir. These micronutrients are like salt only, small pinch only required. Small pinch. Will that affect in the organic uh, certification of that, the uh, same? Yeah, yeah, that, that that's why we are recommending those inorganic. Also, we are not are going to add in the soil. We are going to add that particular product only that is required. If boron deficiency, the your fruit will split. Okay. So. that then the quality may not be there but but your entire thing is rolling over quality but particular nutrient deficiency there the quality may not be there but there is no organic source for this quality okay okay sir in the, with the organic inorganic concept is only for soil not for the plants and particular product so that's why okay. it has to be integral part it is not purely this not purely that okay sir so okay yeah 
So basically, some ratio of like eighty percent of yeah, organic yeah, and twenty yeah, percent. Yeah. Not topic. only race is there. Whatever the race is, the basic thing is uh, any heart will have organic carbon content, sir. That's why it is organic certification. Organic certification. They are telling us, sir, that yes, the sir. organic carbon content only decide the fertility of the soil. Okay. Why organic carbon is decide the fertility of the soil is if organic carbon the content is there, then only microbes will be there in the soil. If microbes are there in the soil, then only the soil called as live soil. There is live lives in the soil. Microbes. Understood. Understood. If microbes are there, not there in the soil, that is called as sterile soil. Nothing will grow. Okay. So it's all interconnected. So this will be decided by the level of organic carbon content. If organic carbon content is there, then only. If you add anything, N, P, K, whatever the inorganic form or organic form, then it will react. Understood. Okay, sir. So that's why we have, we have to give this also. You equally you have to give importance of uh, that micronutrients also. So further doubts, if I have, will, will there be any possibility to come and meet you? Sure, sir. I am really sure, sir. Raghunda, you are very always welcome. Even on behalf of Santil, I would say I will take you to him. Please <laughs> thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Thank, you, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sanjul, sir. Uh, okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Madam, shall we wind up? Ah, uh, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Anand. Uh, one minute. Uh, thank you, sir, for uh, engaging us and accepting our invitation. Uh, it's really a very useful talk for us. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you, thank you, Santil, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks to Sina, sir, and Supriya, madam. They forced me to do this because I am not available. Up yesterday, I was. Out of I know, I know. You are very busy, man, sir. I know you are very busy. You are a field work man, not like you are. You know that. Thank you, thank you so much.